First off, um, you know, just want to credit Weber State for a, a fantastic season. Obviously, uh, they're an experienced group, a uh, team that we have a lot of respect for. And, uh, you know, you can't say enough, you know, good things about Dylan Jones and the career that he's had there. Uh, so, you know, we knew coming in that, uh, you know, we'd have our hands full, I thought, uh, the first half. Got a little bit muddy for us, and, uh, you know, we weren't able to, to hit our stride uh, the way we had hoped to, but got into halftime uh, locker room and were able to make some adjustments, kind of calm down, get, the, get, uh, get our wits about us. And then once a few shots started falling in the second half, we were able to uh, make, make a run. Uh, Greg Rockhodge from MTN Sports. Brian, I wanted to ask you about the stretch in the second half. At one point, you guys made 14 consecutive field goals. And um, I know you made like 10 second half three pointers. So, what was just happening in that stretch to where you guys, everything you put up was going in? Yeah, you know, we, we put in the work. We try to prepare ourselves as best we can. So, when those moments and opportunities present themselves, you know. Playing the percentages, we didn't have a great first half offensively, so second half things started clicking. The guys stepped up, shot with confidence, and shots went in. Parker Cotton with the Bozeman Daily Chronicle. Matt, you were pretty uh, open a couple days ago saying that you know this team doesn't have a Dylan Jones, a Dylan Jones stopper, but you're you're guarding the entire Weber State Wildcats. What kind of winning formula against them were you able to find? again when faced with kind of a similar situation as last week? Well, you know, I, Dylan is such an unselfish player and, and does such a great job of, of making his teammates better. Uh, we just wanted to, to try to limit those those opportunities for him to play make and and, uh, and unlock some of those guys. I thought in the first half he did a really good job of finding some creases in our defense and uh, hit, hitting a few guys for threes, but we were able to turn them over a little bit. Uh, I think four, six turnovers on the night and, uh, you know, ultimately, like I said, it, 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 it was going to be a team, you know, a team effort uh, defensively um, to stop, you know, all of their pieces. And uh, I thought in the second half we were able to to get our stops and then, you know, key our offensive run through through that. Robert, as a senior, this has uh, got to be a special win for yourself. Obviously, your whole team, but as a senior, this probably might really hit your heart even better. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's good. You know, it's a good team win. It's a good program. Any other questions here? Rob, you said a couple days ago that it could potentially help your team that you get to face Weber State again so soon because you don't have to lock in on anybody else in between. In what ways do you see that familiarity of seeing them a week ago come through today? Uh, just, you know, following our game plan, uh, you know, following what our coaches say and being able to key in on what we thought would help us win. Rob, during that stretch when you guys made 14 field goals in a row, what, what in your mind was going so well for you guys? I just feel like, you know, we all clicked. You know, our coach talked about everyone being their best self. I feel like in that moment, you know, everyone was being their best self. Even our guys that were on the bench, you know, they were up talking for us, helping us out. So I think that it worked out. You're one, you're one of the few guys that has experienced making a run and winning this tournament. When you put the sticker on the board, it seemed like you were pretty business-like. So what, what's your mindset moving forward and how much has last year's experience helped you? Uh, I mean, it helped a lot, you know, to understand the process and what's going on. I just feel like, you know, just one at a time, you know. You know, you can never really get, you know, too high like on this one. You know, it's a great win. We're going to, you know, celebrate it. And then now we have to, you know, focus on Sac State. Final final question for the evening. Matt, I know you guys have a, another game, obviously, tomorrow. But um, what does a win like this mean for you and just what you're trying to accomplish with the program in your first season to, to make it to the semifinals? Um, you know, if anything, it, it – uh, should give our guys confidence and proof of concept of what we were preaching all year. We've been we've been pointing towards March, you know, from the beginning. Uh, we knew that in, in the long run we were kind of starting uh, maybe a lap behind some other programs because of the transition phase we went through, and uh, we had to play catch up, you know, throughout the year and, and ride that roller coaster a little bit, learn from those valleys, and, and be prepared to play our best basketball in March. And ultimately, uh, you know, if you're playing your best basketball for for, for this week. Um, you can accomplish all the goals and dreams that we have for this program, the standard that's been set for this program. And so our guys have been pointing forward that. Um, and, 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 and we're just, you know, one, one game into that process. And so there's, there's no satisfaction at all other than, um, you know, I'm happy that the guys have seen the, the, the proof in the pudding um, and, and sticking together and, and continuing to grow through those, uh, you know, those valleys that we had earlier in the year.
Coach Logie, Brian, Robert, congratulations on a great W for your program. Best of luck down the road. Thanks a lot. Great, thank you.